much like mom's not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. Today's video is going to be the second part in my Colombian series. Sorry it's been taking so long to get out these videos, but there was just so much. I, I think I had like over 100 gigs of footage from all this because I was filming all the shows and everything, so it's taken a while to come through all of it. But this is part number two of my trip to Colombia with Magicians Without Borders and the Young Magic Society. This episode details our adventures in Duitama, which is a really cool town about a couple hours outside of Bogota. We started the trip off with a big performance in a local park and we had people around at all angles and it was definitely not the best place to be performing magic but we made the most of it, did a little street magic and it was one of my favorite shows in Colombia. Then the next day we actually had to split the group up. Half of us went to a geriatric home and half of us went to uh, the, the slums and did a show there. Um, so I had footage of that as well and overall it was a great time and there's a bunch of shenanigans in between and I won't hold you guys up for the video but once again just this organization means so much to me so to actually be able to go to Colombia and, and share my love for magic with everyone just it really meant so much so i uh, hope you guys enjoy the video i worked really hard on it jake what are you eating i'm currently eating a cow callus Dad, what is which the is the, the you know like the cows that you yeah. form on your hand except don't, don't, cows form it on their hooves so yeah. well on the heel part of Costa Rica, a smaller town about two hours away from where we were last night, and rather than staying in a hotel, we actually got hooked up with our own house, house tour. Alex, do you have anything to say about our house? Uh, it's nice, there are four walls, which sometimes you have to pay extra for, that was included, and a roof, so we're very blessed. <laughs> this is my room, pretty sick. Jake, how's the house? The house is beautiful, the house is absolutely gorgeous. House tour. Yo, dude, this is the crib. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get my. What, what, what they say? My life. About to start our show. We got a, we got a full crowd of people. It's really loud, but. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be great. It's gonna happen, Jake. Oh, it's gonna be great. Instagram, yeah. Um, he does our Snapchat. He doesn't like Snapchat, it's apparently. Numbers, bro. He's getting the numbers. <laughs> this guy, this guy. Aki, Aki. Aki. Aki, mira, mira. No sound, it was very <laughs> no challenging. Sound. No sound at all. Everyone wanted everyone wanted to take photos with us. We were mobbed, no, no, it was no. insane. Everyone wanted, everyone wanted to take photos of me and my guy Han here because they thought we were from Japan. Yeah. Thought, Most you know, chinos. They'll never see us again, you know? Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. A girl literally stole my sponge bunnies and ran away. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. We watched. But we yeah. love performing for the kids. We watched I got DM'd on Instagram. Um, 
Oh, it's by a, uh, yes. What, Aaron got offered weed? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Offered weed. Night. It is a huge night. <laughs> the kids are good at skateboarding, but we love performing for them. They're an awesome yeah. group. And yeah, a lot of energy. So I guess it's day four in Colombia. I've been trying to film as much as I possibly can, but it has been so busy. We're talking like, today I think we have three shows. Two of them are at the same time, so we have to like split the group in half. It's absolutely crazy. Just got done with breakfast. Colombian breakfast is pretty good. I'm a fan and uh, I gotta go grab my stuff and get ready for this. We should be in our own personal house, this house for one more night tonight. We're in the town of uh, Duitama right now. We're actually in like a little enclosed town within the main town, which is super cool. Um, unfortunately, I am running late for our first show. We're actually going like 20 minutes away to another part of town. And that's our first show today. And then we're gonna be going to a completely different town for a second show. And then we're just gonna be bouncing around this area for the rest of the day, doing some tours and stuff. And uh, should be fun, but it's definitely gonna be a long day. Now it's a foundation where they do a... I build a tent. Mm -hmm. Trying to set up the speaker system. You know. Hard work. We're gonna make some magic happen. You know. Hard work. Hard work. It takes some magic to make some magic. You, you know what I mean. Let's go! Why are there sheep? Ah! <laughs> Look at those sheep! And ah. that black one. <laughs> <laughs> the one black sheep. So, uh, in about 15 minutes, we're gonna get to one of the towns in uh, the state of Mogara. Boyaca. Boyaca. These guys know what's up. And uh, we're gonna perform magic there and uh, <laughs> get lunch. It's the most beautiful town. I know, like most, voted, voted most beautiful town of 2018 uh, in the state. Uh, but this morning we had a couple of shells. We split into two groups. Uh, one went to uh, hillside like slum area, and then the other went to what do you call it? geriatric hospital. And then uh, yeah, both great crowds. Had a really good time and uh, a lot of energy. Yeah, so good stuff. Good stuff. Ready. After following a group of horses on the road for almost an hour, we finally arrived. I've been moving kind of no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. and cuddle with me. You know how I like it when you love it on me. I don't want to dive it in the mirror. We are being treated for a free lunch. 
Because true. we're performing, hey. which is which is super hype. Yep. We got our we got our Jugos Natural. Jugos. Jugos. Get it right. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna cut that out. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So we're up here. We actually drove up quite high. We're kind of feeling the elevation a little bit. We had ten thousand feet. I think. We got. We got interrupted by horses and had to stay in traffic because the horses were going slower than us and were just in the road. Yeah, it was uh, not the best time. And there's... Yeah, but we're here now. As we're walking down the street, a guy with a loudspeaker was talking about Mago Sin Frontieres. Magicians uh, Without Borders. Yeah, so. so we don't know what they were saying about us, but we nice things. Hopefully not, but we're hyped for the okay. show.